All right, so this is the uh, KF plan, KF603 land, air, and seaplane. So this can go in the water. We're just gonna test it initially here on the grass, and then we'll do a water test here a little bit later in the video. Uh, three channel control, you have elevator control, and then you have right and left control via two motors, brush motors here, um, via differential thrust. Inside this compartment here where there's a screw that holds this lid is an 800 milliamp hour 1S battery. And uh, this version comes with three batteries. Also get a charger, screwdriver, and um, some spare propellers as well in the box as well as the manual. Taking a look at the controller, pretty small. Uh, throttle here, up and down, so basically faster, slower. On the left, on the right, you have your yaw or differential thrust left and right, and elevator up and down. On off switch here, you have your trims here for left and right and up and down on those uh, these buttons here. And uses three AAA batteries in the back. So I'm going to just uh, take it off from the grass. There's some wind today, it kind of comes and goes. It's a little bit dead right now, but um, the, it just kind of gusts, so we'll see how it does. Okay, I'll turn on the controller first. And then there's a button right over here. The battery's already plugged in. You press this button to turn it on. She get a light. There we go. Put it down, let it settle, and then throttle up and down to bind. There it goes. We have left and, left and right control and elevator. And it looks like the elevator. Yes. Yeah, okay. So it, it does have uh, leveling built in. So we'll see how that does. No wind right now, so it probably doesn't matter which direction I take it off. So let's just go. Oh. This grass is a little thicker here. Let's move it over here. Let's see. There it goes. Oh. Almost flying it one handed. <laughs> Need a little more throttle. You do kind of have to be mindful of the throttle. Too much throttle just keeps going up. You can pretty much fly it one handed, as you can see here. Very quiet. Uh oh. <laughs> Hit the lamppost there. Okay, got a little bit of wind coming from that direction to a hand launch. All right, fighting the wind, almost going backwards. Not recommend this for windy days. So I, I forgot to mention there's the shoulder button right here for rates. So one beep is low rates, two beeps is high rates. So I'm gonna try and get a little bit more left and right control Now we got some wind. It's gonna make it a little more interesting to fly. So yeah, it should be able to fly us in a pretty small area. Elevator control's a little tricky. This radio isn't, <laughs> isn't uh, particularly top notch, but this whole package here with batteries and everything is only like $50 and fairly easy to fly if you've flown before. Again, I'll see how it does over water. And if it'll take off and... The thing I'm afraid of is crashing in the water upside down and then <laughs> unable to be able to retrieve it. As long as you're landing on the water flat, let's go ahead and land it. So that, this is what, that's what I'm afraid of is Bouncing and then flipping over like that. That happens on the water and then you're pretty much toast. 
So I'm gonna have to, that was a downwind landing. Let's try like upwind landing here. Yeah, so you could just kind of plop it down like that. It's probably what I'm gonna to want to do. That's why I wanted to see how this behaved on grass first before I take it onto the water. There's some tape on the bottom to prevent the foam from getting scuffed up. It's pretty nice. But end to the wind, launch it, it just kind of just goes. Now going downwind is really tricky. Yeah, we're getting a lot of wind right now. I'll set it upwind here, then if I go downwind. Woo, quite. Yeah, it's, wind, is, wind is kind of crazy right now. I'm surprised it's doing as well as it does. It's only 255 millimeter wingspan. So, not a lot. Oh, wipe out. Take off, yes. Whoa! Yeah, they, they, so pick a calm day if you go fly this. It's uh, it does not like wind. It's pretty tiny, so this is not surprising at all. Woo. And uh, definitely, this wind is going to shorten the flight time of this. But this is this is flying way longer than I expected. Oh my gosh, this is very hard to control and win. Oh, wipe out again and I'm upside down. All right, so I'm gonna try this on another day when it's not as windy and we'll do it over water. Hopefully I don't lose this guy. All right, so we're gonna try a, a pond here, some water. I'm gonna see how it does as a boat. I think this is gonna probably do better as a boat. It didn't fly so great as a plane. There's no wind right now. So just take off the landings. Hopefully uh, this doesn't flip over in the water. I don't want to take it off yet. So it seems fine. Just kind of moving around as a boat. So I guess you can do some pretty tight turns. At lower throttle, you can see that there's only one propeller moving there. But if you got both going, the circles are going to be a little bigger. So the wind is picking up a little bit. Kind of coming from my left, I think, so. Let's get down over to the right here and then try a little bit of a takeoff. Turn it around. All right, it's gonna build up speed gradually. Hey, and nice takeoff there. So yeah, now there's no wind, so there's a little bit of wind, but enough, it's it's not a lot of wind, so it is, it is able to fly in this, these conditions, no problem. Let's go for a little landing here. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, so it's landed really nicely there, actually. 
oh, bounced off the concrete wall. Nice. No damage to the foam, sure. Yeah, nice takeoffs and landings on this one. <laughs> but yeah, I, it 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 works really well as a boat, and it in the air it kind of looks like a flying boat. It flies like a boat. I'm actually kind of surprised that it flies at all, the way it looks, but it flies. Pretty amazing, actually. Yeah, it looks really funny because it it has a you know it was a 255 millimeter wingspan. Uh, not much of a wingspan, so it just kind of bobbles around. Kind of dropped it there. If you drop the throttle real quick, it just kind of just drops. And notice that when it it kind of drags a lot of water on the takeoffs. I can see it dripping off. Stay away from the tree. And it's so tiny. So if you put it into the wind, it will glide for quite a while with just a little bit of throttle. So I'm gonna try and glide it in here. And bring it for a nice, nice landing. Wish I could be more precise and bring it a lot closer for the camera. But it's dragging a lot of water there. And then you could just turn it. Yes, yeah, it, I'm noticing it's dragging a lot of water. So that time didn't want to take off. And now you can see I'm kind of stuck. Let's see if I can get out of here. But I think, okay, yeah, I, it drifted out of there. The wind's kind of coming from this direction now. It's kind of coming from that direction now. There it goes, so into the wind is what you want to do. Wind is is coming up a little bit, but it's not not a lot. So let me try go for another landing here into the wind. A little bit of a bounce. Yeah, pretty nice. All right, guys. So I think that's gonna cover for this video. There'll be uh, a little video here at the end of, the, of this video uh, regarding the Banggood, I guess the November 11th sales coming up here. I think there's going to be a discount on this guy and a whole bunch of other stuff. So check out the video at the end and the link in the video description. That'll do it for this video. Talk to you guys in the next one.